Hello everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Star Valor, episode two. We're going to need a bigger ship. So we will pick up additional missions. Let's eliminate a pirate. And I'm gonna save just in case, you know, I rip. I, I probably should have enabled um, like a, a death counter or something, but I didn't. Let's hope I keep it close to zero. So this is Syndicate territory. Syndicate is like the trader guild. And I'm just going to be poking around, looking for things to blow up. So here's the Syndicate trading station. And they also have a kill a pirate. I will accept supplies for stuff I don't want. No, I don't really want that either. There's also Academy. So let me go over that real quick. So if I go to the hangar and go to the ship crew, um, this ship can have a co-pilot. The co-pilot will affect the ship in areas he has expertise on. So his efficiency as an engineer, pilot, navigator, or supervisor, and all the bonuses, but not gunner bonuses. So if I take a look at the lobby, go to the academy, and I find, and yeah, there's a lot of uh, celebrity names in here. Um, if I find a uh, someone that would be a good co-pilot, um, that would be probably good to purchase. Uh, max we weapon heat. Well, that's a gunner bonus. Shield absorption to make my shields a little tougher. Max speed. Yeah. yeah let's hire you, Ally. And that signals our first raffle. Now, I'm probably going to be going through the um, the recruits in my academy like pretty quickly uh, because the person I just hired might not level up very effectively. But I'm going to assign them as my um, my co-pilot here. And then here, as you can see, the pilot efficiency for the ship has gone up because of having Allie here. And you can also set a nickname for them to change their name, which is what I'm doing. But yeah, as a co-pilot, they will help me um, with my top speed a little bit. And I can zoom zoom. Right, where am I going next? A notorious pilot pirate over that way. I also want to make sure that I have enough energy cells to get home. So it is a four jump out, which means it's a four jump back. That's fine. I have nine cells. Now, as I level up my space pilot, I haven't gotten any bonuses yet, um, but I should be getting them pretty soon. But here's my explorer bonuses. Here, let me stop a second. Here's my explorer bonuses. So, uh, slightly longer loot detection and faster warp charging and uh, cheaper warp cost. So they're really powerful to level up like that. Oh, I flew straight past him. Whoops. It's battle time. Can you have a fleet of combat ships like Star Sector? You sure can. Gotta test out the guns, you know? Fire at nothing. Man, this, this dude is booking it away from me. If you're not the one to blow them up, like if this mining ship blew them up, I landed a single hit. I was really lucky. Um, if you're not the one to destroy them, you don't get the credit. So this gives me a Corvette impulse drive. That's not helpful. A better nuclear reactor. That's nice. So let's go turn this in and claim our rewards. That that mining ship almost blew up that pirate and uh, then I would have forfeited everything. Right. Nuclear reactor. So this better nuclear reactor is going to swap out for the an inferior one that I have on the ship. So I have three regular size. Now here's a better one. So the difference here is um, two more energy generation per second and one more energy storage per second, or in general. Not longer combat, so we'll switch that up. Okay. I can't quite make it out to this next jump here. It's a little beyond my, my travel distance, but I can go to this one. 
And this is a ship graveyard, which means that there's like a boss here, more than likely. Yep, there's the boss. So ship graveyards are special sectors that are not really owned by anyone. They're full of debris fields and typically have a boss. They also often will have distress signals of um, destroyed uh, ships that you could offer aid to. And traveling around, you'll find these little debris fields to salvage for scrap metal and tech level. So there's scrap metal and energy cells. Also, exploring the entire sector gives you a whole bunch of exploring XP. So that's not bad to do. And I will, uh, I will attempt this boss fight. I would like to find the jump gate first so I can save at it. Another thing to note is debris fields that are above your level don't really give you resources. They'll give you junk. So you want to um, salvage debris fields at your level or below and not above. So for instance, this debris field at level 12 or this debris field at level 13 isn't going to give me anything all that helpful. As you can see up here, tech level insufficient for special loot. So I'll, I'll, I'll salvage it and I'll show you uh, just so that you can see. So here is junk, which isn't worth very much, um, and energy cells, instead of actual debris that I might want. Uh-oh, hostile warp been detected. So there is some marauders coming in to come mess me up. And then this marauder also employed a drone that only point defense can destroy. Well, point defense and special weapons. I don't have a weapon on my ship to be able to deal with drones, but I blew them up quick enough that it didn't really matter. Hey, T-Man. How you doing? How was, uh, Destroy All Humans today? I was actually lurking your stream a bit earlier. Welcome. I hope, uh, I hope your day is going as well as it can be. So with that jump gate, I just quick saved so that if this, uh, boss messes me up. Some, some of these bosses are like downright scary can blow you up in a second and some of them are pushovers i've even had some of the bosses where they straight up didn't fight me like they were you know lacking the weapons to do so it's kind of funny Ooh, refined metal and that just gave me the blueprint for thermal regulator transmitter and improved upgrade kits so improved up crits will bring my weapons from uh, green to blue. But they do require refined metal, and refined metal is most easily uh, obtained through mining. It's pretty hard to obtain refined metal otherwise. So at some point, we'll probably want to buy a second ship dedicated to mining, and I'll show you how to efficiently mine. Oh, there was a hidden... Uh, there it is. There's a hidden debris field here that didn't show up on the map. Um, if you look real close, you'll see like sparks. That's an indicator of a hidden debris field. Yes, please. And I leveled up. Give me more gunner. Yeah, this game's a bit like Spaz. Space pirates and zombies. I wish I had a cloak device so I could see what I was getting into. Oh god, he is super boosted. Yeah, this is not survivable. I'm gonna back out of this until I'm- oh, Jesus. Stronger. So he's a- never mind, he blew me up. He was a, um, a gold boss, which means he's, uh, extra strong. And my invasive maneuvers did not work. But that's okay, I had just quick save. So I'm gonna hit up these debris fields again to level up again. And then there's the hidden one. And then probably find someone a little bit my own size. What happens on a reload? Uh, it depends on the settings of the game. So there is, you can play this with permadeath, which means, of course, dead is dead. Uh, but for me, it doesn't really mean anything. 
So the last thing I wanted to do is to travel over to this hidden sector, and to get there, I have to go through the jump gate. Can I come back again to kill the boss later? Yes, in fact, it would be very useful for me to add a note. Boss. I'll put it as a red note. I like to color code the notes, so PMC mining will be yellow, bosses can be red, so on and so forth. So when I'm stronger, I can come back and wipe the floor with him. Uh, Ally Schuler, who I should run the giveaway for, it's going to uh, Judea, um, just leveled up a little bit. So if we take a look at the fleet here, uh, that's not how to do that. They became a little bit stronger. They're level 8 now. And as, as you can see the tutorial down here, as they level up, they can gain extra skills. Alright, it's battle time. Let me try to find some battle music in the playlist. Oh, and an escape pod. Miko Brown. Let's take a look at Miko. You are a tactician, which gives shields, and a navigator for warp distance. Uh, you might be better than ally. Or ally. So, put you in. And, uh, Jadea, you're going to be named after whoever is the co-pilot once I get back to, uh... Once I get back to a station to name you. And there's also a Valor ship here, so it's mirrored just like my own. And in order to bring these ships, either you have to have a ship that can be a carrier to put it inside of your storage, or to use a tractor beam to tow it somewhere. And this pirate is a missile ship, and I don't have point defense, so that's kind of annoying. Let me let the uh, shields come back. Ah! Get away! So he's dead. Uh, so for this, I don't really care about um, ships so much, but I can make a note. Valor ship, if I ever want it. You can tow it to make it a, uh, a ship in your fleet. You can also tow it to sell it or use it for yourself. So there's there's a variety of reasons to use it, but I'm just gonna make a little note that there's a Valor ship there. Uh, there's also a debris field. I'm gonna hit up the debris fields. All right, uh, question for you all. Uh, what should my next priority be? I'll leave that up to you. If you want me to continue to improve my equipment or to take missions, mine for ores, salvage for scrap and tech, uh, try to seek out the Children of Terror, which might be a little difficult to do, but I would try. Uh, I'm just not the right level for it yet. Hunt bosses, viewer suggestions. Here we have Victor. Uh, he's a gunner and a navigator. I'm going to keep probably Victor. Oh, I, you know, you know, I can set names here too. I'm going to probably keep him for later if I ever use him. No, you, you go. Not enough cargo space. Uh, okay, ally, I'm gonna jettison you. Good luck. <laughs> I, I'll pick her back up. You won't be marooned forever. It doesn't really matter. There's no penalty. All right, so let's go ahead and get back down to the quest giver location. While my warp drive spin up, I'm just doing a little exploration, see if I can find a debris field or hidden s scrap or something like that. Yep, there's some scrap. And a crystal chamber. And scavenging scanner. Okay. I unspaced Alley. Don't you worry. Can I not put a crew on the Adrift ship? Uh, no, I don't. It, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So, Scavenger Scanner, which gives me more than double my loot detection range, but other as a scanner, it's not that good. Uh, cargo Expansion Module, which allows me to have more cargo. It doesn't take up any space on the ship, or a light cannon. I think I'm gonna go with the cargo. 
So I do already have a scavenger scanner, but I'm gonna scrap this one. Equip the cargo. So what this uh, cargo expansion module does is it adds mass to the ship, which means it's harder to turn on a dime and things like that, but it does allow me to store more stuff, which is kind of nice if I'm trying to make money. And I'm also in a position to make, to craft my first item. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I have three iron and over three scrap metal. So if I go to the blueprints here, go to the upgrade kit or go to the base component, I can make another base component. So now I have two base components, which allows me to, with two microchips that I'm gonna buy, build an upgrade kit. So buy two microchips, one, two, and then upgrade kit, build. Now with this upgrade kit, I can upgrade any white piece on my ship to green. Uh, let's go ahead with mm, the shield generator. So now I have like nine more shields and slightly recharging faster. Keep the piece, sure. Eliminate a pirate, sure. See if there's any blueprints here that I want. Drone parts, speed booster. Yep, I already had the red crystals for the speed booster. So this speed booster is better than the last one. Speed power of 10 to 10.8. It's not much better, but better enough that I'm gonna equip the stronger one. Scrap the old one and sell the iron I got from it. All right, one of the quests that I have is to destroy a pirate hideout. So let's head over that way. Can you buy upgrade kits? Um, yes, but they're very rare to find. You only really find them from the Technomancers. So you almost have to make all the ones that you ever get. Once I find my first tin head workshop, I can show you, um, but they're, they're hard to find. There we go. Oh, another medium laser. Perfect. Give me my medium lasers. It looks like you guys want me to improve equipment still, so I'll leave that up. And this gave me base components, which allows me to make another upgrade kit. So I can turn the medium laser that I just got into uh, a green one immediately. Crashing damage is collision and you, you can turn collision on at the start of the game or not. So let's take the medium laser, go to my hangar, swap out one of the, actually I'm gonna move, swap all these out. Put the medium laser in the left, put a medium laser into the right, and put a light laser into the middle. Um, the light laser I'm gonna sell, or scrap. And then for the base components, I'm gonna turn those into an upgrade kit by buying two microchips and then crafting an upgrade kit. Done, so now I have two medium lasers at 38.6 DPS a piece and a light laser. Uh, light laser should be there. Yeah, medium, medium, and light. So blues are on the, blues are on the wing. I mean, reds in the wing, blues in the middle. I do have another quest up here to kill a pirate. I'm on it. I flew past a blue crystal. Yeah, they're dime a dozen. I'm gonna be flying past a lot of loot that I don't necessarily want. There is a pirate hideout here. Now here's the thing, is this is a Vengi Ascension um, zone. So the only people that would pay me to clear a pirate hideout would be the Vengi, and I don't want to do it for them, for pay. So I'm gonna clear the pirates just so I can get the loot. But I don't want to do the quest because the quest is for an enemy faction. Ow. Hit me with missiles. In fact, I'm going to make it known that I'm not doing this for them by blowing one of their ships up. Yeah, that's right. I didn't do it for you. Uh, I did just level up my perk, my knowledge of um, solo piloting a little bit. So here we go. Weapon damage 2%. It's the reward for hitting level 5 face space pilot. You know what? I still don't like your face.
Yeah, that's right. I don't respect your authority. Maybe given that I am fighting the entire sector now, I ought to uh, have the red on. That's right. Oh, Jesus, that's a big ship. What is this? Is this a Vengi ship? Ah! Um, Save. You only die once! Ha, ah, you can't turn! Got a shield absorber for that. Ooh, one tap. What's going on over here? Oh no! The uh, the ship I was tasked to destroy just got destroyed by like pirates or something. I took too long to mess them up and I failed the quest. That's okay. There will be other other quests. Yeah, my face. So I am slowly building up Children of Terra rep every time I blow up these Vengi ships. It's not much uh, doing Children of Terra quests. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you, dude. What a jerk. One one misfire and he's light me up like a Christmas tree. Uh, this is a Red Skull pirate territory. So this is... I'm not going to probably find allied um, stations here. Just pirate layers. Which means that there's not really going to be quests for me to do here because this zone is all owned by pirates, more or less. Get on out of here. All right, let's find... Let's go over to the Syndicate, and what level this was? Four? Okay, that's too low level. So I'm going to have to probably start traveling out. Uh, let's go to a sector. This sector. There's some sort of local conflict here. So this sector is likely owned by one faction, and another faction is vying to take it over. So there is a military fleet in this sector preparing to attack an enemy station. So this is a Proxima Mining Company sector, and there's the fleets down here. So that means the station's probably at this planet up there. So there's a faction war going on here. Sounds good to me. Also reminds me to mark it down as a PMC station. Because PMC stations are kind of rare. Or PMC mining, I guess I've been calling it. And I'm going to uh, stick around for this fight because it should be fun. So eliminate pirates around. These are um, silver starred pirates. So they're, they're bounties that are slightly higher in difficulty. Just checking the other quest to see if there's anything I like. Collector beams would be nice to have. They do take up space on the ship that I probably don't want to allocate to a collector beam because I can just... What collector beams is a tractor beam for loot where it just grabs the loot and brings it to your ship. Really useful when you're mining. Um, but when you're a little fighter like I am, it's, it's less important. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss uh, Ali and Miko. Even though Judea here is um, mostly a gunner and barely a navigator, I'll eventually have him as a gunner role. But I'm not benefiting from it. So any second now... All right, let me save, because this is going to be a big fight. Any second now, the Red Skulls, I'm assuming they are, are going to roll up on this station. Oh yeah, here they are. It is a fleet and a half. These sector wars are fun. There's not a lot of, like, money in it. It's mostly experience from blown up ships, but... I like blown up ships. Uh, another really nice thing about these is you can, um... Uh-oh. You can hug the station to be able to repair yourself quickly. Because when you're docked at a station, you're indestructible. So it's out, like, that missile that was about to hit me. I just dodged it. Ow! Ow! Stupid missiles. Ow! Okay, I'm apparently a magnet for missiles. Let me dock again. I'm getting blown up here. 
Despite the fact that I'm level 13, my gear is rather trash, so I'm fighting effectively at like a level 5 or something. As you can see, I'm barely blowing up these red skulls. But I'm contributing! Ah! Syndicate is now friendly. I have made friends with uh, the Trader Guild. Which is odd, because I'm fighting right now more or less for the Miner Guild, but the Traders liked it too. This, uh, this indicator means that there's still a pirate ship around trying to, um, trying to invade. It just might have lagged behind or something. But it means the, uh, the sector fight isn't done yet. Is it you? Oh yeah, it's gotta be you guys. Oh! Get wrecked! And now the PMCs are friendly too. Just because I'm working for Children of Terror doesn't necessarily mean I can't have a good relationship with the Proxima Mining Company. And with the Syndicate, they're not hostile with Children of Terror. You basically have to choose between Children of Terror and the Vengi Ascension because they're at war with one another. But the PMCs and the, the, um, the Syndicate aren't at war with the, uh, with Children of Terror. Well, that was a good, good amount of loot. I'm just going to destroy the plastics because I can't sell them here. Okay, cool. And the Red Skull Pirate Battle Fleet has been defeated. Heading over to the pirate hideout, because I was hired to clear that out. And then I have two bounties out here, both in the same pitch black pirate sector, which is going to be uh, fun. I might not be strong enough for him, but we'll see. Oh, I really need point defense. Oh, here's an elite marauder. Swiggity swooty, I'm out running your booty. Just a little bit of hull damage. It's still good, it's still good. That's right. Yeah, because of the equipment I have on right now, with no point defense, missile boats like this that just keep launching missiles um, are a little bit harder for me to deal with. Because I also don't have the maneuverability to be able to, um, to weave around them effectively so that I can damage while uh, dodging. So I have to make very quick passes like this, which are sketchy, because if those missiles catch up with me, it's bad news bears. Ooh, a better Pathfinder. Uh, the Pathfinders go up to tier three, level three. You can get orange ones maybe, but usually purple. Let me try to, you know, I'm actually not being paid to destroy that last Marauder. So you want to keep firing missiles at me? That's cool, but I'm out of here. I am building up my money. What I would like to do is um, save up the money for the next class of ship. There's really only so much that you can do with these little yachts. Uh, the next class of ship, depending on the ship I buy, I could actually use them into the end game. Which is crazy, but it, capable. So if we take a look at the ship market here, we do have equipment and I've shown you equipment, um, but here are the ships. So right now I'm at a proximal mining company. So the ships that they're gonna sell are gonna be mining ships. Uh, so you have dreadnoughts, which is the largest class of ship. Uh, for that, I do require to be better aligned with the proximal mining company. Then you have cruisers. Um, you've got frigates, corvettes, and I'll probably just use corvettes 
I'm not going to go bigger than Corvette. It's nutty, but that's what I'm about. And then, of course, yachts. So this, for instance, this Reaper is a mining yacht, but it is better than my current ship. Just has less weapons. It has more armor, speed, agility, you know. But I'm not going to be buying one of these. I would like, there's a specific uh, Corvette that I want to buy, and I'm going to hold out for that. But as you can see, these Corvettes uh, aren't that expensive. Like this one, for instance, is only 33K, which I have 42. So I could buy it right now if I wanted to. But again, I'm saving my money for something special. Uh, energy Barrier is a, a piece of equipment I really want, though. So I'm going to buy the Energy Barrier and figure out how to install it somewhere. I have to ditch something for it. I'll ditch uh, my small battery, which hurts me a lot. So this energy barrier, what this allows me to do, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna keep it on me, but I'm not gonna use it yet because I don't have a way to generate flux yet. So flux is like um, a way to use, here's a warp diverter. Yeah, I'll buy the warp diverter too. Okay, now I have a way to generate flux. So a warp diverter, what this does is it takes your warp charge to be able to jump and diverts it to build up flux. Um, and you use that flux to power up special weapons like um, cloaking devices or energy barriers. So this energy barrier, for two seconds I turn it on and I am I absorb an enormous amount of damage. So it's like a temporary uh, near invulnerability. And it's bound to um, hotkey five and I'm gonna actually change that to three. And the warp diverter is uh, bound to two, and I can keep that. I'm going to keep the battery here. I'm not going to sell that. Um, and then to offset the fact that the warp diverter, uh, diverter took my battery slot, I'm going to upgrade my nuclear reactor drives. So let me buy four microchips. One, two, three, four. And then craft two upgrade kits. My tech level just went up from crafting. And then upgrade both nuclear reactors so that I have a little bit more energy generation and charge. So to turn on the warp diverter, I hit two. And as you'll see, my warp drive, instead of being ready, will go back to um, charging up. And then once I have a, a flux charge, the flux charge will be displayed up here and I can use it and I'll use it here. Hit three, turns on my energy barrier and then it wears off goes on cooldown, and then the warp diverter then tries to create another flux charge. There's other ways to generate flux, which doesn't require you to divert your warp, uh, which is a little bit better to use in battle, because if I was getting damaged and destroyed, um, drawing from my warp drive means I can't escape. There's no tactical retreat or anything like that. All right, it is battle time. Oh, good. I warped directly on you. Out of my face. Oh, there's a medium laser here. Yoink. Uh-oh, I hear... ships fighting the pirates. I don't want to not get credit. As much as I hate the Vangi, I'm going to let that one go so I don't fail my missions. There's also a distress signal. So this might be a good uh, situation in a second to use my warp to power up invulnerability shields. So I can just sort of stand here and tank. And the reward here is a repair beam, a Vulcan, or a laser beam, and they're of blue quality, which is pretty good. The distress signal... Uh, if you take a look at the map over here, there's a gray arrow pointing down. Um, just travel to it. And it is a drifting escape pod. Madison Oberman. Who's a shield engineer. Light laser, bye. Medium laser, you're in. So now it's all medium lasers. So the last of my quarry is kind of near the pirate lair. So I'm really hoping they don't get too close to the pirate lair because I can't fight a pirate lair by myself. Oh, rude. Yep. How regret, how much regret. 
There's also a pirate hideout here. Um, ooh, and refined metal. Nice. Refined metal is an, a really important ingredient for um, better upgrade kits and the like that normally you only mine for. So finding it out in the wild is kind of nice. And a hydrate. Excuse me. Well, this is an entire uh, night fleet, so I'm a little worried about them stealing kills. Whoa! He did a lot of damage, but I used my shield. Asteroid Analyzer Blue? A light cannon blueprint or a missile launcher? And another distress signal. Which can be found up this way. Miko. Alright, let's turn these in. At Proximal Mining and reap the rewards. I'll stop for a blue crystal this time. What's missing to get a, a new ship? I need to find a Children of Terra rebel base. I would like to buy a Children of Terra ship. Um, so if you vote for improved equipment, I'm gonna ask if you want me to seek out the COT to be able to, um, to be able to do just that. So here's blueprints. All you have to do is learn it. Blueprints can't really be sold. And then once you buy the blueprint, um, here it is. I now know how to make light cannons. Doesn't really matter. Light laser beams, scrap. Light laser, scrap. And now I know how to make a light laser because I've scrapped enough of them. So there it is, light lasers in the blueprints. Uh, I am going to make two base components. So for that, I need three more iron. And then craft two base components, buy two microchips, craft an upgrade kit, and then go to my hangar and upgrade my medium laser from green or from white to green. So now I have three green quality medium lasers. What does it take to get a second ship? Uh, I actually won't be doing that. I've decided to be a, um, oh, free repairs. I've decided to be a dogfighter for the most part, so I won't really be using um, alternative ships to be a fleet commander. You have to pick one or the other, and I'd rather be a dogfighter. All right, quick question. Should I try to buy a bigger ship? Yes or no? Is that at the core of this? All right, as far as the passengers I have, because I only have a max passenger of two, I'm going to dismiss these guys because I don't want either of them. I'm also just going to... I'll buy more energy cells. I'm basically filling up my uh, hull with energy cells because it looks like I'm going to be traveling a bit to try to find a COT base. Which means a lot of jumping. It also means a lot of exploration, which could be good for my experience. The ships here are... Um, Wow, they broke my entire shields in one shot. The ships here are definitely a slightly higher level than me. Oh, and this is a nebulous section sector that um, that has an uptick of artifacts. Artifacts are the things that allow you to upgrade from blue to purple. And this is a PMC station. Uh, so I'll mark it down as such. This is a PMC mining station for now. It's actually possible for the station to be destroyed. So right now there is a pirate fleet coming in that could actually blow it up. Another way to try to find uh, rebel bases is when you're at these mining stations or any station that you're allied and docked at, you can go to contacts 
and then see if there are other stations here. Not all stations are going to be, um, not all stations are going to come up on the contact list. The Tin Head uh, stations don't. But if there was a Rebel station here, I would be able to make contact by purchasing the contact information. So when I jump around looking for the, um, looking for the Rebel bases, docking to any station works pretty well. And just asking for directions, essentially. All right. Current priority is buy a Corvette. Uh, this was a trap. Oh, no, it's a hidden debris field plus a trap. Got to do better than that. So see there, I used my um, my shield charge to turn on just as the missiles were about to hit so that I negated all the missile damage. All right, let's see if there's a rebel base here. Now, in my experience, uh, you typically find rebel bases starting at the low 20s in terms of level. So I'm gonna have to go to sectors in the low 20s, which means, unfortunately for me, that I'm gonna have to be fleeing from a lot of fights because where I'm gonna be going to try to make contact with a rebel base also is probably too difficult for me to survive. I'm essentially traveling into dangerous territory. Uh, I'm okay with that. While I jump from station to station, it's also uh, pretty useful to look to see if there's anything uh, better to buy to replace equipment that you currently have that could be improved. And here is um, here is some 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 of the ships here, goods, equipment. No, nothing here was worth anything. And then we'll check the contacts list. There is a syndicate station here and another civilian station. And let's keep jumping. This is syndicate territory. And there is an invasion fleet. So that uh, that ship that was shooting at me was shooting at me with Vulcan ammo, which doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does ignore shields entirely. So that's why I was taking hull damage and uh, even though my shields were at max. Nice. Oh. I also just acquired a perk called Guardian Angel. I'll show you that when I'm not being shot at. Oh, you've heard of level uh bases being at level two? Dang, that's lucky. I usually find them only around level twenty. Well, I don't want to take on the syndicate fleet by my or the pirate fleet by myself. So they must be traveling to some station. You can kind of just track their trajectory. So there's got to be a syndicate station down here. And there it is. There's only one other syndicate station here. So this won't have a rebel base, which means I am out of here. Well, I'll, I'll check its uh, equipment. So they do have a large uh, nuclear reactor, but that's only for Corvette ships, so I'd need a bigger ship. Same with this impulse drive, it's for bigger ships. The higher level the base that you're at, um, the better equipment that you're gonna find there. So there is something to be said for if you wanna gear up, you can um, venture to more dangerous areas because you'll end up being able to purchase things that aren't available at low level um, stations. Uh, what do you mean, is rear thrust a thing? As long as you have the tech level for it, true. Uh, here's another PMC mining. Mm, generic equipment. Check the contacts, there's nothing else here. I might want to top up my uh, energy cells. There we go. 45 should be enough. We'll just keep looking. Another way to tell is, oh, there's a boss here. 
So I'll mark that down. I think I've just been calling it boss. Yep. Because there's the boss. So this is a debris field uh, sector. Which sometimes can be useful to go to um, distress signals and the like. It's a lot of XP. Rolf Hawking. You're level 13, I could probably take you. Oh, you're silver, though. I took him. Barely, but I took him. Uh, I leveled up a little bit more, so if you take a look, Space Pilot, 2% resistance. It's kind of nice. And then the perk that I got earlier, Guardian Angel. Save 10 civilian ships... Uh, which reduces my repair cost and gives me extra damage resistance and improves my relation with the PMC and the Syndicate. Um, these are also things that you can use when you're creating a new uh, a new character. And for this one specifically, if I picked this as a perk, um, it would cause my starting ship size to be decreased by one. So if my starting ship size was, let's say, uh, two, I could only pick a one size ship. Ooh, there's a elite distress signal out this way, too. Awesome. Those are even better. And I'm going to tiptoe around the boss. I'm pretty sure that boss would smoke me in a second. So this is... This is a Vengi uh, ship. The v V2FA. I think it's a... It's a uh, yacht-sized ship. I'll mark it down um, if I want it as well. So... Boss and B2FA ship. I'll have it as red because I care more about the fact that there's a boss here than that ship. That ship is not worth much. New zone. Independent. So if it popped up up here that it was a um, Children of Terra sector, that would mean immediately that I've found what I'm looking for. But there still could be rebel stations in non Children of Terra sectors. Just less likely. Yeah, there's only pirate layers here. Ooh, this is huge. Some of the sectors are enormous, like this one. You mean face enemies while moving away? Um, yeah, you actually don't lose inertia when you're um, when you turn around to fire at enemies behind you. But your boost doesn't work as well. The boost is kind of only in the direction of... Um, oh, here's a... Oh, that's a big thingy. Here's a Tin Head Workshop. So these Tin Head Workshops are uh, very rare. Well, not very rare, but they're fairly rare. And I'm going to mark this one down. Tin Head. And these are the Technomancers. So if you enter, uh, there's really no one to talk to. But they tend to have really good blueprints. As you can see, they also sell scrap metal, which is pretty much the only place you can buy scrap metal. And they have some rare equipment. So this one has a energy barrier that is way better than mine. Um, it lasts longer. It's cooldown is shorter, but it's tech levels higher. I don't have the tech level to be able to support it. Same with the battle computer. It has a better battle computer and iridium warp drive, which is um, significantly better than mine, but it takes one more space, so I, I don't have the space for it. Um, you can always buy this stuff, but it's also marked up incredibly. So the 12000 is very expensive versus buying a base model and then upgrading it to purple. Uh, same with weapons. So here is uh, some high-quality weapons that uh, that, you know, you can buy straight away from them as well. Again, my tech level doesn't accommodate for that. As far as the blueprints here, I'm a little tempted to buy the superior component blueprint, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be offered that um, as a quest reward sooner or later. Uh, there is no, never any ships here, though. Okay, uh, let's keep jumping. Oh, another boss. Probably means that there's not going to be stations here, but I'll check. Oh, 
also in the last zone uh, where the Tin Head was. That could have had other stations, but the Tin Head doesn't have a contact. So I didn't bother. I just just poured it out. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. If, there might be a station out there somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for it. The only way I can go back is to jump back to the Tin Head. That was the only valid jump. And while I'm waiting around for my warp drive to charge up, I'll go west to see if there's uh, other stations here. No, there wasn't one at this planet. Oh, there's a jump gate, but yeah, there wasn't one at this planet. I can't jump anywhere I haven't been, so I'll jump back to the boss zone. The Tin Head is, uh, is a faction, but it's a faction that you don't really ever build up relationship with. It's just a, it's just a faction that, um, that sells you, like, high-tech stuff. They're like tech scrappers. You think of it that way. A Vengi Ascension territory, so there's definitely not going to be Rebel Base here. But there is a distress signal, so I'll check that out. Yeah, Technomancer's faction is not implemented at the moment. Yeah. So there's a Seagull. Um, a Seagull ship, which is, I believe, a Corvette. Stop it! I'll mark it down once I'm not being shot at. Likely these low level ships I'm never gonna go back for because I'm just not ever gonna be in a position where I need them. But it's better to have them mark them down if you need them than not to do it at all. So here is pretty obvious where one of the stations are, because the enemy fleet is flying straight at it. And it's a syndicate station. Only syndicate stations in this zone. And we'll just keep looking. Trying to find the children of Terra. It can be tricky. Once I jump a few more times, I'll inc I'll pull you guys whether you want me to give up the search and uh, work on something else. Thank you for tuning in to Star Valor, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 30th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios!